Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having a great day. In today's video, you will be learning how to make a cutscene like the one in the intro. And uh, we're going to be using a Unity Cinemachine a timeline and an asset from the asset store called uh, VR Chat. And I'll link all the assets in this video in the description below. So now we can begin. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is uh, this character that I have. And uh, on this character, I have an animator attached and uh, an audio source attached. So now, what we're going to need here is we are going to go to Window. Um, we're going to go to our Package Manager. We're going to open it up, and you can just type in a Cinema Machine, and this should pop up. And I am using the latest version as of now. And uh, what you're just going to say is you're just going to say Install, and let that install and uh, once that's done next we are going to scroll down all the way down and uh, install timeline so you're going to click on timeline there just going to uh, i am using the latest version as of now so you just have to click install timeline and it's going to install for you that and uh, next what we're going to do is we're going to exit that and we're going to go into our camera so wherever your camera is mine is in the first person camera here so once you have that uh, highlighted you just go to add component and uh, the component we're going to add here is uh, this one right here it's in the machine brain so just add that so, so that's what's going to link our virtual cameras to our main camera so speaking of virtual cameras we can just close it up there and head up to here cinema machine click on that and uh, we're going to say create virtual camera and that's going to create a virtual camera for us and uh, what i'm going to do here is just uh, position it so that we can view our player so i'm just going to drag that out there and uh, do that so I'm going to rotate it like so and uh, drag it out a bit more and let's see okay now let's uh, edit him from here so position is just dragging a bit out there and uh, I'm going to lift him I'm going to lift the camera on the Y and move it a bit to the center and uh, drag uh, the camera a bit low so drop that there and now we can see our player so i'm just going to move this a bit out again so i'm just going to move that out a bit okay so now we have our first camera set up and uh, when we hit play um, when we hit play, you're going to see that uh, the camera isn't tracking our player and uh, that's because we haven't assigned our player to the camera. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get our guard here and uh, drag him all the way up to here where it says follow. So we're going to put him in the follow there and it's going to mess up our camera again. But you can just uh, readjust it again. So move the camera out again. And let's see how our scene is. I'm going to just drag this. Um, I'm going to drag this here. Oh no, for this we'll have to go into our body and make adjustments from here. So you can drag that since it's tracking our, our player now. So now that that's adjusted, we can hit play and uh, see whether it's going to follow our player. And yes, it does. So that's the first part of our cutting done and now what we're going to do is we're going to stop that there and uh, we're going to play around with some things here and uh, um, let's see our aim looks okay for now I'm not seeing too many issues so what we're going to do is uh, make our cutting more dramatic if I may say so I'm going to create another virtual camera Okay, and uh, 
Let's see how that looks. Okay, so now next what we're going to do is um we're going to change make sure uh, we're going to change the priority so that uh, the second camera can show so for that we can just say priority to maybe 15 and we can view our camera now our second camera so okay there's our camera great next we're going to add the third camera And now what we're going to do is we are going to move on to our third camera right now but first let's uh, have a preview of this oh first we have to set our priority so let's change this so this one's priority let's say 20 so that we can have a view of our camera right now So now we are going to add one last camera. Okay, so now this is our third cutscene. So let's set the priority. Just 20. And uh, let's see our cutscene. I was still showing the camera for the third one. I'm still showing the third camera. No, let's set this priority to 22. Okay, so now we can see our movement here. And in that intro cutscene, we saw that uh, uh, we had one more camera, so we're going to add that too. But for now, let's move on. We're going to go to our window here. I'm going to say uh, sequencing and then timeline. So we're going to click that. Then we're going to create an empty game object that's going to hold our timeline content. So I'm going to rename this uh, to timeline okay so in the next video we will finish off from here and i will show you how to record this very scene using an asset from the asset store and uh, so just click the card in the top right corner to continue on and i'll see you then and uh, goodbye for now